I'm Joanne Wojtek, the NASA Soup Program Manager. Unique in that we do not have a static catalog that people can search on. Um, what we have is an, is an on-demand or a semi-dynamic catalog. Um, the, the soup um, orders are based not on what is on the catalog, but based on what the customer asks for. And what that means is you ask for, for an item, you ask for product through a request for quote. The items are then added to our catalog based on those requests, not having the requests based on the catalog. And that's the primary difference. Our, our, our primary tool for, uh, for use, the usage of soup is our request uh, a quote tool, uh, or the RFQ or RFI tool. Um, it provides a lot, of, um, a lot for our customers. Um, um, we do have a dynamic catalog based on requests, but this is how people get requests out, is using this tool. It, we, in order to use us, you have to provide free opportunity, that tool embeds for opportunity into the process so that people will get, will know that they are following the FAR by just using our tool. Um, and then it provides a online quote um, uh, access capability so that as quotes come in for request for quote, you can go online, you can, you can look at the quotes there, ver there's a verification piece to it. Um, it's all done right on, on the site. They'll be available for the life of the contract so that people can come back later and go back and get their quotes so you don't have to worry about processing and, and holding it somewhere on your own disks. Um, and then at the end of it all, we have a ability to notify um, the people who sent in quotes that there, an award was made. It's an award notification process that's optional. Um, you can, in the text box, indicate who won, who, who was awarded the order and the dollar amount involved. Um, and then off of that, you can create a credit card um, order if you're doing a credit card. We don't have a delivery order. Um, that goes back to something of a nature of a PRISM or another software product that provides delivery orders. Um, but we do have credit card ordering. Operates as, a, as the next step after delivery orders are processed. Um, we don't actually get involved in the creation of delivery orders. Most agencies now have other companies that provide a tool to help them create a delivery order or a purchase order. Um, CompuSearch is one of those companies. They provide something called Prism. Um, it is used by NASA and several other agencies. Um, we have worked with Prism, with CompuSearch, to add an electronic link from their tool that creates the order to our database and our, our um, internal system so that in the, the goal is that when the con contracting officer types in their information, is done with the delivery order, they can push a button and the delivery order will then be electronically sent to us along with information that will automatically feed into our database so we don't have to enter it by hand. So we don't have double entry. Um, this, will, this will greatly speed up our processing and, and also just the whole, uh, and the con contracting office and procurement officers won't have to email us, won't have to fax us, they push the button, they're done and they will know the order will get sent to the vendor. Um, it's currently um, been um, written for CompuSearch's PRISM. Um, I believe it is being deployed this year. Um, it's a case of first they have to deploy it through their own updates, and then each agency has to decide when they're going to update. We're assuming it's going to occur in the next fiscal year, uh, because most people will not update during the last three months of a fiscal year. Uh, unique features of soup is that we, we like to control things and one of the controlling factors is that we have to have delivery orders sent to us, um, not to the vendors. We, we want to see them because in fact by doing that we can provide tracking to, um, to the customers and to the contract holders and to ourselves. Um, an order comes into our system either via email or fax and within a, typically three hours um, if we're busy, no more than a day, that order is processed into our system, sent to the, the vendor. They have to acknowledge it so that we know that they can't, they, it wasn't lost along the way. Um, and then on our website, we, we show that order, um, but they will also get email updates um, of any changes to the status, any issues that arise, all in an automated system so that they know they will get it. So if, if, the, custom, if the contract holder can't deliver on time, they will send out a note saying to our system saying uh, the delivery is delayed. Both ourselves and the customer will get notified if, when it's been shipped. They'll, the contract holder will notify us and that will get, get sent to the um, customer. 
So um, it's, a, it's a highly tracked system. One day turnaround, it's, it's, um, and it, it, that's on every level of what we operate. Um, we have to deal with the entire, agent, entire federal government. We are dealing with 10,000 10, different people. We are dealing with 25,000 different orders with um, hundreds of phone calls. And, and so we, we have a model that says whatever comes in has to be handled, has, orders have to be processed, responses have to be made within a day, otherwise we would never you know, be able to respond to any of them. So, so we keep it at a very steady state. Um, that makes sure that the customer knows that if they get to us, they will get a response quickly and work and we'll work with them and, um, in the fastest possible way. And one business day is our, our maximum. Most things were done in, in, in terms of hours.